What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles with Holiday World out of Dallas, Texas. And today we are taking a look at this 2022 Keystone Alpine 3712 KB. And what makes this thing so special and so unique is one, it has the biggest shower you will ever see in any fifth wheel. Alpine has actually done this across a couple different floor plans now. We'll take a look at that in a second. They also went to the four burner insignia cooktop and you have an amazing looking pantry in there as well. So we're gonna take a look at all of that. Let's go. Real quick before we get into this video, I do want to talk about some upcoming news. First of all, we have the Houston RV Show, which is the biggest RV show in Texas happening this week. So it is going to be February 9th through February 12th at the NRG Center in Houston, Texas. I will be there. So if you plan on coming, I would love to meet you. And if you are actively in the market searching for your next RV, you can text me at the number on the screen or the number is down in the description below as well or send me an email let me know what your name is what day you plan on coming what you're looking for and i would love to set up a time to meet with y'all and see you at that houston rv show and then after that we have the dallas rv show at the end of the month that will be the last weekend of february i'm struggling to remember the exact dates off the top of my head but it's the last weekend of february thursday through sunday so we will be at Dallas Market Hall for the Dallas RV show as well, and I will be there as well. So same thing, if you plan on coming to that show and you're actively in the market searching for your next RV or your first RV, you can text me at the number on the screen and I would love to set up a time to meet with you there and help you find your next RV. So that's all I got for updates on that. Now let's go look at this RV. All right, y'all. So this is the 2022 Keystone Alpine. 3712 KB as you can see it has the full body paint exterior package here so this is all automotive full body paint that you see on this fifth wheel there are no sticker decals or anything like that on here this is all painted on it looks really great I love this color combination because whether you have a black white or gray or silver truck it's all gonna look great with this fifth wheel being pulled behind it so I love this color scheme I also like that they didn't go too heavy on the black so that you still don't have you know that super absorb what's the word that color with black that really absorbs heat a lot um so they don't go too heavy with the black so you still get you know colors on there that are light in nature so that they don't absorb so much heat from the sun but you still get the black accents in there and it's gonna look good behind any truck so i really really love that and i think it's a great full body paint package and it has a really nice looking front end here as well with the front cap and that is actually a windshield that you have up there so you will have access to that windshield with great views at your campsite out of there as well this is going to be technically like a front living floor plan um, so we'll have the front living room up here in the front area and then your bedroom in the back kitchen in the middle so we'll see that in just a second when we go inside and then it has that bathroom that is just absolutely incredible but as we look at the specs you can go quick and just look at that but I also looked at the sticker on the door before we walked inside to confirm that but when we come around here you can see all the specs on it and you're gonna have 7,000 pound axles on here as well see the dry weight right there that you have on this RV so we'll walk around take a look at everything that this fifth wheel has to offer my favorite thing about the Alpine brand because this is one of my favorite luxury fifth wheel brands out there is it is going to be one of the if not the most feature rich fifth wheel at the price point that it's at um, when you compare it to a lot of other things in this price point even like the montana that we have here on our lot as well the alpine actually comes with more standard features at the same price point or sometimes even a little bit lower of a price point so things that you're going to have first of all it is a 100 inch wide body construction fifth wheel so it does have that four extra inches of width that does make a significant difference in the amount of floor space you have inside the rv 
and it has the six foot 10 inch slide out boxes in your main living area. Whereas most fifth wheels have like a six foot four or six foot five inch slide out box. So you get a taller slide out box as well, which gives you more high, um, feel in there for how much space you have. Plus it gives you bigger windows as well for more natural light coming in. So, so those are some of the differences. We'll talk about more as we go through this fifth wheel and look at other features on it as well. Um, we'll look through here first. This is gonna be your storage compartment right here. You have your wiring panel there. So that's where all of your color, co uh, color coordinated wiring is going to be for that in command system. And then you have the storage compartment through here. It does have a wall on the back side there. So it does not go all the way through, uh, but you do have a wall there. It's still a decent amount of space here. If there was one thing I wish they maybe would have offered a little bit more outside storage here, but you'll see on the back end, we have a ton of storage back there. So it's really not like you're missing out on too much storage. You also have heat duct running into here. So you will have heat coming into this cavity and you have TV hookups in here as well. So if you wanted to hook up a TV and mount it to the sidewall, have it swivel out, you can do that also. So that's everything in the pass-through storage. I do also want to talk real quick about how Keystone does weld on both sides of their frame connections. So you can see both sides of every frame connection will be welded. Plus you have the flooring wrapped in here. Those are some things that you don't see in every fifth wheel as well. Um, I'm going to try to, you know, point out these things, but maybe not spend so long talking about some of them because a lot of things seem to get redundant over time as I make more and more videos and talk about <laughs> what seems like the same things over and over again. So welded on both sides, wrap flooring underneath there, something that is nice that the Alpine does that a lot of other brands don't do actually, if you take a look at that stuff more closely. So as we go around here, you're going to have your two battery compartment up here. You can see I have a battery box plugged in right now, but what's really nice is you actually have a 200 watt solar panel on the roof. So this has the solar 200i package from Keystone standard from the factory. And I actually did not even have to plug the solar panel in or the battery box in to get power. I just did it as kind of a backup just in case, but it's a really sunny, beautiful day out here. And I could actually get everything inside as far as the lights go powered on without even plugging in the battery box because of that solar panel, which is awesome. Coming up front, like I said, really nice looking front end. You're going to have your LED light strip right here. So you can see what you're doing when it's dark outside. You have the road armor pin box here, which is going to have this one inch rubber bushing that is going to absorb a lot of your contact as this head pivots back and forth when you brake and accelerate as you're towing down the road. That's going to absorb all that contact and that chucking to make sure you have a more comfortable and smooth towing experience. And then coming up underneath here, you have your storage compartment to the right here. And underneath here, you're going to have all of your hydro um what's the word i almost said hydronic hydraulic controls i was thinking hydronic because i just did a motorhome video like a week ago that they had a hydronic system in there but hydraulic controls there for all of your leveling systems and your hydraulic slide outs you have the solar charge controller here so this is going to be working with your solar panel to give you all the information you need for Things like how much power is being drawn from your solar panel, um, how much battery life is left on your battery. It's also going to be regulating it, making sure that your battery doesn't overcharge or stay overcharged. So you have all those different functions going on there. And then if you wanted to expand upon your solar system as well, you could add an, another inverter on here and you could add another solar panel and start getting power to things like your outlets inside this RV. You also have the 2000 watt inverter here for your residential refrigerator. So that's everything in the storage compartment on this side on over here we're gonna have your two 30 pound propane bottles so those will be right next to each other in the same compartment there you're gonna have your equalizer system auto leveling panel right here to control all of your auto leveling functions and then right here you have your water hookups now what i really like about this water hookup station is one the door opens that way instead of opening up so you don't have anything that you have to duck under you can see even the slide out here it's not under the slide so you don't have to duck under anything to get to this water station which i really like that i'm 6162 so this is important to me is there's a lot of different rvs out there where i have to duck down and you know lean over to get into this area which you don't have to do on this one so you're going to have all your water hookups in this area. You also have the key TV panel here. So if you did install a satellite on the roof, the wire for that is already ran through the RV up to the roof. And it's just a simple plug and play method that doesn't have to be, you know, done at the factory or at the uh, dealership to get that wire ran. So that's already there as well. And then you have all your water hookups in that area. 
you're going to have a tankless on-demand water heater so that is a huge thing that comes on this alpine is that tankless on-demand water heater giving you access to pretty much unlimited hot water as long as you have water supply available and that's something that does not come standard on a lot of different fifth wheels that are in this price point range and we'll talk more about price when we get inside as well you're going to have your sewer hose storage compartment right underneath here and then you'll have the side camera prep right there if you did want to install side cameras on this fifth wheel as we come around this way you're going to have the road armor suspension on this fifth wheel so underneath here you can see the road armor suspension down under there this is going to have six inches of travel so you'll have three inches of travel up and three inches of travel down that is absorbed by these rubber bushings on the corners there so it's the only suspension system coming out of the factory that gives six inches of travel that is going to again help with making your ride smoother as you go down the road here is your rear storage compartment so you can see you have these storage compartments that go all the way through here all the way through there and then you have one on this side that's like this one on the other side like that and then you have a big storage compartment around the back as well so all these various different storage compartments on this fifth wheel on the back side here to make up for that limited storage up in the front and then looking at your slide out boxes you're going to have the schwintec slide out mechanisms on your smaller slide out boxes and then these are going to be hydraulic slides for your big slide out boxes so premium slide out mechanism there as well another thing the alpine comes with standard that a lot of other fifth wheels in this price point don't come with is going to be this electric power cord reel so your power cord is on this electric reel so you don't have to figure out where you're going to store this cord and haul this thing around because it is very heavy and you actually have a reel that it is on that it'll automatically wind up for you so you don't have to bear the labor of that task out of your campground and then let's come around this way you'll see your back wall here let me put this storage door down so you can see they have these nice latches on them so they actually hold them in place really well and then you just delatch that and it'll come down like so secure that up and you have a really nice looking back end here that looks beautiful with the full body paint coming around to this side you have two awnings on this fifth wheel so you can see your awning coverage covers about two-thirds of the rv so those will both come out over these entire areas here give you a lot of awning coverage and then we'll take a look underneath this fifth wheel get down under here you can see you have a fully enclosed underbelly everything underneath here as far as your water lines and water tanks are all going to be sitting above the insulation so they are getting heat fed into that cavity whenever you run the furnace and then the insulation in there is going to help make sure that those tanks don't freeze plus you're going to have 12 volt heat pads on all of your water tanks as well so you can flip those on if you're towing something around and you have water in your tanks want to make sure it doesn't freeze if you're anywhere near freezing temperatures or if you just leave your campsite don't want to have your furnace running and want to make sure those you know tanks don't freeze if you are close to freezing temperatures so that's pretty much everything on the outside here let me go up on the roof real quick and we'll take a look at everything on the roof and then we'll hop inside all right so up here on the roof you can see you have the two acs they're both the coleman mock q series acs so those are going to be about 12 decibels quieter than your standard ac system basically just like a whisper quiet ac and then you have your 200 watt solar panel there and you're going to have the digital 360 degree omnidirectional wine guard satellite so that will be working for with your um over the air antenna and then if you did uh, put a wi-fi router it also is compatible with that as well so that's everything up on the roof the solar panel is something that keystone is doing standard across every single one of their trailers for 2022 so if we look across our lot at all the different keystone stuff they all have at least a 200 watt solar panel on the roof if they are a 2022 model so pretty cool thing that keystone has done with that and then some of them will even come with more solar capacity on them standard out of the factory and you can expand upon that if you wanted to do so but let's hop back down and go inside as we head inside you are going to have these lippert solid steps here so you get a really close first step to the ground and then the oversized top step as well you can see it comes with the polar pack here which is basically going to be all your insulation packages things like the 12 volt heat pads that i was talking about plus you have fully insulated um, front cap a double uh what is it a double laminated rear wall 
um, insulated rear wall, obviously insulated side walls. You have an insulate, um, insulation in the flooring, insulation under your slide outs, things like that. And then the 12 volt heat pads is another huge thing that they add as well to make sure that you have all the heat that you need. Plus you have things like a heat pump in the AC as well. So that's another thing that you will have also. Now let me get to the wide angle lens here so we can take a look at a little bit more at what's going on. Pop that open there. And then first of all, love that they went to the insignia four burner cooktop. So glad to see that. So glad that they went to that because I know that's something that so many people want. An amazing pantry in this kitchen area that is so nice, so much space in there. We'll walk in there in just a second after I kind of give you a scope of everything here. Dinette table in the slide out box, really big windows because of the six foot 10 inch slide out box that you have there. Touch screen control panel with the in-command system. Again, this is something that doesn't come standard on a lot of fifth wheels in this price range where this is going to not only give you all of these touch screen controls for everything and let you see what's going on with your RV, but you also are going to be able to link this to your phone. So anything that this panel can do, your phone will be able to do if you're within Bluetooth range of this device. So things like programming your ACs to come on and off at certain times, checking the temperature of your RV, operating your slide outs, your awning, your lights, all those kinds of things you can do with your phone. Coming up here into your front living area, you're going to have you know, pretty much what we see from a lot of different brands as far as the front living goes. Your TV is on you know, a retractable TV, so this will go up and down and you have the windshield behind there. So you do get a view out into your campsite or whatever you have on the front end of your RV here if you do have that TV down that you can put down there. And it does have a privacy shade behind there. Another thing I like with this area is they put your sound system and you know DVD player, all that stuff up here. So you don't have to bend over to get to that. And then you'll have your speaker system up high here as well. So I do appreciate that and think that's better than having it somewhere low where you have to crouch over to get to it. So we'll start with this area, then we'll kind of work our way through the rest of this fifth wheel. You're gonna have the different storage compartments up here next to your TV. So these will open up there. You're gonna have those storage compartments and then everything is gonna be soft close. Believe it or not, in the 2021 models, Alpine did not have the soft close cabinets and that's something I'm so glad they went to because I really appreciate soft close cabinets and I'm glad that they went to that. Underneath here, you'll have more storage next to your fireplace and you'll have the same thing on the other side as well down underneath here. So those are both identical storage compartments that you have there, plus your controls to move the TV up and down. Your fireplace here will put out heat, plus it has four different color options. Really like the backsplash area behind it. It looks like actual tile and granite. It's not, but it even has the same feel of tile and granite, so I really like that. It is something that you can see is framed out, and then it's basically just, you know, adhered onto there, um, so it's more lightweight, but it does have the exact same look and feel of tile and granite, so I really like that. And then the fireplace, like I was saying, it will put out heat, so that is a great electric heat source, along with the heat pump in the AC as well. You're gonna have your sofas on both sides of the slide out, plus so much floor space in here with this being 100 inches wide. Both of these will make out into beds, and because it is 100 inches wide, they actually don't touch each other here, so you still have room to move between both beds when you put both of them out. And then you'll have the Thomas Paine recliners. So these here are a nice oversized recliner, lots of space, and they do have the heat and massage functions on them, plus they have a nice LED light bar underneath the footrest here. And then as far as the reclining method, they are gonna be just a pull strap recliner. So that'll pop right up nice and firm there. And then it should lay all the way back. Yep, lays pretty much all the way flat there. So really like that too. I know that's important for me. There's some fifth wheels that don't accommodate for that to lay all the way flat like this one does. So nice area up here, very comfortable, gives you your separation from the kitchen space that you have up here. And then all of your windows in this fifth wheel are also going to have day and night shades. So you get both of those on here as well. Have your privacy shade and your day shade for whatever you want your vibe to be inside this fifth wheel. So that's everything up in this area. Let's go down into the kitchen, take a look at some of the stuff in the kitchen. Another thing I forgot to talk about actually, you have a strut assisted step. So when we go outside, this is actually kind of a big deal because this is something again, you only get in the luxury high-end fifth wheels. The step here, because it's strut assisted, 
is gonna stay up on its own and you don't have to worry about that falling and hitting you on the head because these are somewhat heavy. Um, they're definitely not the most lightweight thing in the world. So with the strut assist there, you're not gonna have to worry about that falling and hitting you on the head while you're setting that up at your campsite. Now, looking at everything in here, you're going to have a big island here and they offset the sink. Gives you a nice big basin sink here and then your smaller basin next to, next to it right there. Residential appliances with this that'll pull around and you can move around like so, but I like that they offset the sink to the side so it gives you more countertop space there. Really appreciate that. Leave space for all these drawers as well. And then we'll open up some of the storage in just a second, take a look at everything that that has to offer. Again, the Insignia cooktop is awesome. You have the four burner set up right here. And then you have the really large oven that can definitely fit a turkey or whatever other things you may want to put in here. So you get that, you know, more resident, residential style feel with this oven than really anything else out there. And underneath here, you do actually have this pullout tray there as well. Really cool looking microwave as well. It's a signature kitchen suite microwave. This is the only model that I have seen this convection oven slash microwave on. And it just looks really nice. It looks almost like commercial, like something that you'd see in a commercial kitchen. So I love that with the Insignia cooktop. I think it just looks very, very pleasing. And I'm a fan of that aesthetic that it offers along with it, you know, being very functional, good appliances that it comes with. You'll have your storage up above the microwave there and next to it right there as well. And then next to your oven, you'll have your really big storage compartment underneath here. Again, all soft closed cabinets. Now you have the Samsung refrigerator. So this will open up. I was actually just looking at refrigerators because I'm house shopping with my fiance and some of the houses we've looked at don't have refrigerators in them so we've you know figured out what appliances and stuff we'll want and definitely just you know saw this refrigerator at best buy and home depot so it's you know a residential refrigerator that you could get from there it's basically the same thing that you would get in a home and it's going to have your ice maker down underneath here as well and a lot of space in this area too that's actually quite a deep space that you have in that freezer section now one thing i do want to point out with your slide outs in, first of all, you can control this slide out independently. And with your slide out in, it is going to prevent you from getting to the refrigerator and freezer. So you will have to push that out at least about halfway to get funk there to get access to the refrigerator. So that is something that you should be aware of. But like I said, you don't even have to push the slide out out all the way to get into that refrigerator. So it's really easy to do. Plus with the in command system, you can open the slide out while you're sitting in your truck and do it from your phone. If you need to get in there and get to your refrigerator. Storage here next to your additional countertop space. So you have this countertop here. It's about 10 to 12 inches deep and you could definitely fit like a Keurig on there, especially if you put it like in the corner, have the outlet there as well. Another storage compartment down underneath here and four more drawers that'll be a little bit more shallow. And two, this actually, this is gonna be a cabinet space underneath here and then you're gonna have your breaker and fuses right there. This is your water heater controls there with the on-demand water heater. And then you do have a central vac system in here as well. So it will come with a hose that will reach the entire interior of this fifth wheel that can hook up to your central vac there to vacuum everything inside the fifth wheel. Now, last thing to look at is just the storage underneath your island. So in your island, you have this big storage compartment underneath there. This is gonna pull out and have your trash can and recycling bin or two trash cans, whatever you prefer. And then again, four more drawers that we'll pull out there that are much deeper and nice deep drawers that you have in that area. Now, this is my favorite thing about this kitchen. You have this pantry here. First of all, it's these sliding doors. Let me unlock them so we can actually see what they look like closed because they do have these little pins on them here that you have to move out of the way to close it up. They are magnet latched, so they will secure with the magnet right there. You can see what it looks like closed. And then you open this up and this is where I would definitely put my coffee bar area or, you know, Insta, Insta fryer, what's not Insta fryer. Wow. Combine the two Insta pot or air fryer is what I was looking for. Um, put those in this area here. Lots of countertop space. This is definitely about a foot deep 
that you have right there for your countertop space and then so much storage plus you have the two outlets here you have lots of lights in here one light here one light in the ceiling and you even have lights in the cabinetry as well look at that three shelves in that space there so so much room for different things in here again lights up in there as well and that'll be the same side the same type of storage on this side as well and then you have even more storage down underneath so a lot of storage space and i love that it's a walk-in style pantry that's so cool and something that's really unique that you don't see a whole lot of so really like that setup there and big fan of that last thing i want to talk about in this area actually two things first of all any outlets that have this yellow sticker on them are going to be inverted outlets so if you did want to add another solar panel and an inverter you can start getting solar power to your outlets in this rv that the outlets that have the yellow stickers on them and then let's talk about price now this one here does have the full body paint package on it which does make it more expensive than one without it and we do have both options available right now with the full body paint package on this one it is going to have you at 131 for the msrp so with that full body paint package you're probably going to be somewhere around 100 to 110 for a sales price now that's just an estimate i don't know exactly i'm just kind of throwing a ballpark figure out there to get an actual quote on this rv i would love to help you out you can text me up with the number on the screen there and i would love to get you an actual down to the penny price what we can get you in this rv with with financing options as well if that's what you're looking at so text me at that number we can obviously do much better than that msrp price there you won't have to worry about paying that much and if you want one that's even a little less expensive we do have the options that don't have the full body paint package as well that will be less expensive than what this one is so we have both options there without the full body paint package everything else still looks the exact same on the inside it's just the outside that is different so want to go over that real quick with the pricing notice you have the wine rack up here as well that i forgot to point out it's a nice area there and then finally you have your dinette table here with the four seats these seats here they will lift up so you have storage underneath there the table will lift up so you'll have storage underneath here and you do have the leaf as well that will pull out to make that table longer if you need more table space really big windows again plus you have the day and night shades and then two more things to point out before we go up into the bedroom and bathroom first of all underneath your slide out here you can see you have a wrapped flooring underneath here so your flooring is completely wrapped helping keep it protected from you know any sort of spills or anything like that getting penetrated into that sub flooring and then you do have this vinyl carpeting over here that you can just you know it's basically the same exact thing as what's here so it looks really nice and it's not actual carpet which nobody really wants to deal with while out camping one other thing speaking to the construction you also in the sub flooring here have what is called dynaspan flooring so the dynaspan flooring it is, is a single piece flooring they don't use any connections or anything like that on it so no there's no spots where you may step in the floor and feel like creaking going on because it is a single piece flooring there and it is basically essentially like the same flooring used in the boat industry where it's a marine grade so it's going to be entirely water resistant where if water were to get onto it it's just going to beat up on that flooring it's never going to soak into it or absorb into that flooring preventing soft spots and it comes with a 25 year warranty and keystone has never had a warranty claim on that dynaspan flooring so that's something definitely worth talking about and also you have solid surface countertops because i forgot to point that out as well going up into the bedroom you're going to have a rail right here to assist going up into that area. You also have controls for your uh, max air fan, which is going to be up above the kitchen right there. So you have that there as well. And you can put a third AC in this area if you would like, so that it is wired for the third AC if you wanted to add that. More storage compartments here next to the bedroom. This is basically like a cloak closet area that you have in here. And then up above here, you have more storage in there as well. Now coming into the bedroom, you're going to have a king size bed reading lights for each individual up above your sleeping area and then you have windows on both sides of the bed you're going to have a framed out storage compartment underneath here really large storage compartment there and then on each side of the bed you're going to have these nightstands plus you have an outlet right here on this side and then on this other side it's a little bit different of a setup your outlet is actually below the nightstand area there so you'll have outlets on both sides as well plus you have a good amount of floor space here for different things and you do have room to walk around both sides of this bed and you have the sliding barn door going into the bedroom it does have a tv 
in this bedroom area already so you have that installed and then all of your wardrobe in the bedroom area is going to be through here so you'll open these up these are going to have the clothing racks going across the top there again soft clothes and same thing here clothing rack up above these are going to be identical storage compartments on both sides and now when i first look at this floor plan i do realize it is what seems a little limited on storage compared to what some other models may be you have these three pull out drawers here nice space here to put different accessories and whatnot or decorative things but what i want to point out is if this is not enough storage for you now you may be wanting a washer dryer which is where this would go but if you don't need the washer dryer you have another huge closet space right here so this is a massive space you could use for different wardrobe storage but if you push the water if you put the washer dryer in this area then it's going to take up this entire space there so just be aware of that but this is where the washer dryer prep is at so you can get a washer dryer installed or you can use it for another massive closet that you will have with this fifth wheel we'll take a look at more aspects of this bathroom here but i want to look at this shower because look at this thing this thing is absolutely amazing it is a four foot by four foot shower it is absolutely incredible there's so much floor space in here i'm going to step in here and you can see you know as i walk around just how much room is in this shower and then what i really like i'm going to put the camera right where my face is at you can see me being six one six two with these shoes on for sure the shower head is still well above my head. I mean, when I step under it, the, uh, the camera's right where my eyes are at. I'm well under the shower head, and that is so rare to find in a fifth wheel. You can actually fully stand under this shower. Th there's some houses I've even looked at where you can't do this unless you redo all the piping. So absolutely love that. It has a one-piece fiberglass shower in here. So this is all fiberglass material, and it's one piece, no seams. You have the seat there, so you can sit down comfortably. I mean, this is like a party shower. You can get multiple people in here if you want to. If that's your thing, if that's what you like to do, you have the room to do it. And this is probably the only fifth wheel out there that will give you the room to do that. So I love this. If you're somebody that's looking for more space in the shower, you want to be comfortable in the shower, you're going to get it here without a doubt. And there's nothing else out there on the market like what this shower is. So I absolutely love this. And then Alpine also has this in their front kitchen model. So they're 3790 FK also has this same shower in it as well with the front kitchen which is also a very cool model that i've done a video of in the past month underneath here you're going to have a porcelain toilet so you have the porcelain toilet there it is an elongated like oval shaped bowl and what i like to point out with this is if this were to ever break if you're just one that likes to wiggle and squirm on the toilet and this breaks or snaps or anything you can just go to home depot or lowe's and just replace this with any residential style toilet seat lid for this shaped toilet and it'll go right on there you have a window in here for good natural light plus you have the fan right there and the bubble in the shower so lots of natural light that comes into this area the all white shower gives it a lot of bright lighting in here as well as it reflects off that material and then going into your bathroom area you have the dual sinks countertop space that goes all the way to the back there and you have a plug back there so if you have things like a hair dryer or stuff like that you can store it back in that corner two medicine cabinets and I believe, yeah, it's going to be unobstructed through here. So no partitions between the medicine cabinets. So you can store stuff all the way across. Another storage area here in the corner. And then you're going to have this that goes all the way back to the back wall. So a lot of storage there as well. And then under the sinks, storage areas underneath here. And then I believe, again, it's going to be unobstructed all the way through. Yep, unobstructed storage all the way through. So the only thing getting in the way there is just your piping for your water lines and that's it and that is just about everything on this fifth wheel you can see you have your acs in here as well it's the whisper quiet ac system you have dual ducting going down so you have vent lines running um, parallel with each other down the rv and both acs are going to be ducted together and it's just a really cool floor plan and i think at the price point with a full body paint package and all the features we talked about the tankless on-demand water heater the power cord reel 100 inch wide body construction and the six foot 10 inch slide out boxes plus the touchscreen control panel that links to your phone i don't know anything else out there that gives you all of this stuff at this price point with the full body paint package even without the full body paint package you're still getting all those features in a fifth wheel that will be well below the price point of anything else out there that has all those features on it which is what makes me love the alpine so much and the four burner cooktop i even forgot about that because that's brand new for these models 
All right, y'all, that's all I got for you. Hopefully you liked this video and got something out of it. If you did, hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button and become a part of this growing community of RVers all around the world. Don't forget that we have the RV shows coming up this month. Houston is this week. And then we have the Dallas RV show the last weekend of the month. I'll be at both of them so you can contact me at the number up on the screen if you plan on going to those shows and would like to meet. And I think that's all I got. So until next time, I'll see y'all out camping.